Hi, I'm Nerdian Sari, and in this video, we're gonna kill the enemy. So, without any further ado, let's begin. You remember from last video what we have done. Let me run it, and you can see we have this enemy that we, when we go far from him, it go to sleep, and when we are close to him, it will wake up. Okay, so let's just kill it. In here, if we go to sprites in enemy in droid zapper, in this damaged, okay, if we play this animation once, this enemy should die, right? So let's just do that. Let's just open up our enemy object droid zapper, and you remember from last video what we have done. We create an estate machine that has has a, a sleep and wake up. So now we want an die state, okay? So let's just add that to our enemy state. So in here, I want to say die, okay? So now we have the die state. So let's just go to a step function, copy and paste one of these switch cases. And in here, I want to say when we are at die, run this enemy die state function and lo let's just create this function in our scr enemy so it will be readable and easy to develop function enemy die state function and now we create our die state okay so like all the states first of all we should set the sprite index okay so we set it to spr droid zapper damaged or die I call it damaged, okay? We want it to die after one hit of bullet. So we kill, we shoot it and it will die, okay? First of all, in here, if we go to our damaged, in here, you can see that we should start our animation from index number zero. And you know that by now, if you watch my videos, that you don't know where the image index is for example if we are at the wake up state function and we are at the frame number three and player hit this enemy the image index will be three so if we change the or sprite index no it will the image index still will be three and we don't need that we should set it to zero at the start okay at the start of our die function die state so for that i want to create a variable why because i don't want to set the image index to zero over and over again we should do it once because our enemy die once so let's just create a variable in here is dying to false because uh, our enemy isn't dying at default okay so in here with that we say if is dying is false change image index to zero so with this we know that we set the image index once if we say is dying equal to true okay so with this the first time that this enemy die state is triggered, the image index will be zero once, not over and over again. So after this, we don't know if our enemy is in a sleep state or wake up state. So what we can do about that, we can change the image speed to one because we don't know if the image speed is one or minus one we don't know that and if you watch my last video about enemy asleep and enemy wake up you know that for a sleeping we set the image speed to minus one and for waking up we set the image speed to one so we set the image speed to one in here because we want to play this spr droid zapper damaged animation once in forward direction okay we want to play this animation until the end so how we can do that we can check image index in here image index if it is greater or equal to image number and you know that i did talk about this image number and animation and a lot 
I have a video on that and after that I have some more video that I did talk about this animation and so we can do it like this check for animation interval image number minus animation interval and with that we know that we are at the end of the animation so when we have this when we reach the last frame we can change the image a speed to zero because we are at the last image index right so with that if we go to our room let's just put our enemy to here and and let's decide where this enemy die state function should be triggered or this enemy die state should be triggered in here you know that our player is shooting object bullet for a bullet right so whenever the enemy collide with this object bullet it should die so let's just add a collision with object bullet so whenever the bullet hit our enemy we change the enemy enemy state to enemy states dot die and with that we go to the enemy state die and we know we can just destroy our bullet the bullet that hit enemy because we should destroy it right so we for that we say instance destroy and give it the idea of the bullet so because the object bullet is hitting this object droid zapper we when we say other it means the object that is colliding with this object so the other is this object bullet okay so with that we delete we destroy the object bullet that is hitting us hitting the enemy okay so now that we have this let's just run our game and you can see when we go close to our enemy it will wake up and when we go far from 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 him it will go to sleep and no matter where we shoot it it will die until the last frame and you can see it okay so i want to re reset this game to show you if it's in a sleep state it it will die again so for that i want to to this object player i want to add a key pressed of letters for example r so in here i want to say a room reset or restart okay so whenever we hit r on our keyboard the room will be restart okay so this is a sleeping note if we hit it it will die as we want if we hit r again the room will be restart if we go close and hit it again it will die everything working fine without any bugs or errors right so another thing that i want to do in here i want this object this object droid zapper to be destroyed after some time you can see when we hit it it won't be destroyed and it will be left left behind on our room so let's just destroy it how we can destroy it it at this animation end in enemy is die state we can say if for example alarm zero is equal to minus one so with this we check if the alarm zero is set before or not okay because we don't want to set it again and again so if it's not set let's just set it for alarm zero to set it for something like two seconds okay so for two seconds we can say two multiply by room speed and it will give us two seconds after two seconds alarm zero will be triggered so let's just add the alarm zero to this object droid zapper and for that we can just do this and in here we can say instance destroy and with that we destroy this object droid zapper when it when it's die after two seconds it will be gone from our room so let's just run it again and in here if we hit it it has stayed dead for two seconds and after that it's gone right so let's just add some other enemy to our room like here like here how many you want you can add and let's just run now and kill all of them right 
we kill this and you can see that it's working fine in any state and after two seconds it will be gone so in the next video we will talk about how enemy can kill us and i want to show you how enemy can have melee attack and running after us and kill us so please subscribe to watch that video as well please if you want to help me hit that like button it helps me a lot thank you very much for watching bye